Hey you! What's good? Mother f they done it again! A message that brings joy to many sends shivers of terror down my spine. Update 1.32 Ruined our money system again. But I figured out a reason and I fixed it. Today we can continue on making millions without doing much work. If it's the first time you hear about this method, then watch until the end as I will go through the guide from start to finish once again. So let's get it! <laughs> I feel that a few hundred scientists at Polophony's headquarters are actively trying to work out a way to stop us. <laughs> so today with this update they implemented a new system that randomly double asks you if you want to exit the race. It might do it once an hour, it might also do it once every race. So it's totally random, which means fixing it might not be that easy. But I did it. So you lose. Good day, sir! So this is the place where the error actually occurs. After exiting the second race, the game might prompt you the same screen again after exiting, which is ridiculous, but quite clever. Good thing is that if the game manages to exit, you get about two or three seconds of loading screen, giving me ample time to record two or three extra input sessions. So I recorded Two extra takes of circle XX, basically exiting the race twice more. So when it prompts it, it will exit. And when it doesn't, the inputs are lost in the loading screen. There you go, enjoy. Just download the Tomahawk Clean Race Tight 2 script. Oh, by the way, this Sunday, I will max out the money GT7 can hold. So I was thinking of making a live video, like spend party video, where I will waste all the money I've made trying to buy all the cars in the game. If I can't make it as a live event, then I will do a video instead. Either way, let me know if you want a live video or just a regular one. Or you don't want any at all, because this live video will be me rambling a lot. That much I can tell you. Anyways, now for the people who are watching this method for the first time, I will include some extra clips for you from my previous videos, how to set it all up and make the game grind credits passively as you're scratching your whatever. So anyways, what do you need? You need PS4, PS5 macro software, link in the description. You need PlayStation Remote Software, link in the description. And again, as last time, this is PlayStation's original software. You don't have to worry about hackers and shit. So log in to your PSN account without any worries. Also, you need PS4 controller and a USB cable to connect it to your PC. Because then you have 24-7 power for your controller and it doesn't run out. Now a quick word of advice. This method works 100% on PS5. Because I don't own PS4 anymore, I gave it to my parents. Loading times are different, making the script basically not work. So requiring PlayStation 4 controller, I mean it works on 5 as well, 5 controller, but you need 4 because it isn't that sensitive. With PlayStation 5 controller I've seen some errors, like gas pedal not functioning, especially in the beginning of the race and so on. So now that you have everything you need, let's go. Unpack PlayStation 4 macro software, but don't open it yet. Install PlayStation remote software, log in and make sure that you connect with your PlayStation. I received several comments that PlayStation Remote software has been updated and my macro is not working anymore. New version is 6.0 or 6.03 something, but the previous version 5.5 something ran the script beautifully. So for this video I will include the download link for this previous version. Uh, if you can't connect with your PlayStation or you get some sort of error, then that means that your remote play option under PlayStation settings isn't enabled. So enable it and then try again. So okay, if you log into your PSN account through PlayStation Remote Software, you should see your PlayStation on your monitor screen. Now download my macro script. Now open your PlayStation macro software and load in my script. File, open, select my script, and there you go. Now, under PlayStation Macro Software, make sure that Record on Touch is unchecked and Loop is checked, okay? But don't press the play button yet. Now, start your GT7 game and let's set up your car and the track. Pan America's Championship Race with Tomahawk. So go in the store, buy this car. So your starting position is here on the first championship race. Load in the script. Record on touch off, loop on, and press start. It should move about six times to the right 
and start the championship race. It should complete the race, exit the championship, collect the money and start the race all over again. Anyways, I hope that you enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like, smash that bell and if you're there, subscribe as well. I'm Silly Lamas and thanks for watching. Till next time.